My series title is By an Eyewitness, so I basically try to reconstruct uh, 17 tragic deaths in the recent history of Iran from Constitutional Revolution till now. And they're based on documents and uh, eyewitnesses accounts and all the, any reports from the newspapers or radio that I could find. And I exhibited them in Photo Kosmandu here this year. Well, I'm an artist, basically. I, I'm not a photographer. I used to be a photographer, and before then, I used to be a filmmaker. But now I'm basically directing the scene. Um, so I don't consider myself a photographer because I have a photographer behind my camera. I'm just reconstructing some moments of the history of Iran. Well, I decided to put myself because um, to emphasize on the fact that this is not the reality. This is what I think the, the truth was, and that's why it, um, even the title of the whole series is by an eyewitness, which is a very paradoxical because there, there wasn't, you know, I, I, for sure I could not be the eyewitness. So I decided to put myself, and but what happened, you know, in the end, many of my audience in Iran who are very who are not gathered goers or not into art, they are very very ordinary people. They started to think that these pictures are the real pictures. Well, basically, I'm trying to say that there's no truth. We can never find the truth, and there's no truth, even you know, if, it were, if we're able to find it. Because, um, especially in a country like Iran, when we have so much censorship, you cannot trust in the radio reports, even documents, the confidential documents that you could find, you cannot get all of it. You can get, just get a part of it. And when you interview people, the memory doesn't work properly. They really want to help you, but when I interviewed like five eyewitnesses for the same event, they had five different accounts. So basically, it's very paradoxical, you know, that, and, and I'm trying to say that there's no truth.